Is foreign aid a moral imperative or something we should do without in these difficult times? In this morning's London Comment, Lance Price looks at the British experience. Here in Britain, it's budget time, and with the economy still in the doldrums, that means some tough decisions for the government. Ministers want to make more spending cuts to reduce the deficit, but there's no agreement on where the axe should fall. That may sound familiar. Is it better, for example, to cut defence spending or overseas aid? The Defence Secretary says there's no room for further cuts in the military. The Prime Minister, David Cameron, has always said that the aid budget is sacrosanct. But with his party doing badly in the polls, some want him to tack to the right to regain popularity. Anti-poverty campaigners have been mobilising to try to make sure overseas aid isn't sacrificed to save his political skin. People like Bono from U2 and Kofi Annan, the former UN chief, have been praising Britain for spending 0.55% of our national income per head on aid, compared to just 0.2% in the US. In the past two years, British aid has helped more than 5 million mainly African children go to school, and more than 6 million get access to emergency food supplies. Now, I travel a lot in Africa, and the benefits really are clear to see. But what's also clear is that other nations, especially China, are spending huge sums on everything from roads to hospitals. They're not doing it just because it's morally right. They get a lot in return. Trade benefits, access to mineral rights and political support when they need it in the UN and elsewhere. Aid is not just about doing the right thing by the poor, although that continues to be the best reason for giving it. It also contributes to the donor nation's soft power the power of influence and diplomacy that can help make the world safer and fairer without the use of military might. As more and more people question the lasting value of Western interventions, whether in Afghanistan or Iraq or Libya, the choice between defence and aid is not either or. Well-targeted aid doesn't just make Bono happy, it strengthens our authority in the world, and even in my view contributes to our defence. So I fervently hope Mr Cameron, for want of a better phrase, sticks to his guns, which means spending less on guns and even more on overseas aid. This is Lance Price for CBS News in London.